Welcome to the Endeavour Log. Let's kick things off with a before and after shot because I think I've made some good progress this week. This is my game one week ago and this is how it is looking now. I feel like this shows just how important art and sound effects are to the overall feel of a game. I mean, it feels totally transformed in just one week. If you're new here, this is a channel where I'm sharing weekly videos of my learn to code journey. When I was stuck at home during COVID-19, I decided to bite the bullet and finally learn game development. So if you're interested in seeing my progress right from the start as a total beginner, then consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate everyone who decides to subscribe and come along for the ride. Today should be a much shorter video than last week. Thanks to those of you who let me know your thoughts on the video style. It's something I'm still experimenting with, but I really appreciate the feedback and I promise to always take it on board. I'm gonna start off with an update on my progress over the past week and then I'm gonna actually end the video by letting you know what my plans are for this game, how much longer I plan on working on it for, and when you can expect to be able to play it, because I will share it no matter how crappy it is, I promise. Alrighty, Monday. So as I said in the last video, this week has been all about the background. That's been my priority, so I kicked things off with some research. There were two YouTube tutorials on creating 2D parallax background effects that I found really useful. One was from YouTuber Danny, who is just awesome, you should check out his stuff. And the other was Thomas Brush. I've added the links to those tutorials that I used in the description of this video if you want to check them out. So after that research, I got into drawing my pirate ship background in Photoshop. By the way, Thomas Brush, who did that second tutorial I showed, he has just launched his new game Neversong last week, which looks just absolutely amazing and you should all go and check that out. And he's just a great YouTuber to follow if you're interested in game dev. So once I got that drawing done, I brought it over into Unity and made it parallax. Tuesday I animated some water. I'm actually pretty happy with the result. I've really been enjoying the drawing for this game. It's such a nice chilled out break from coding, which I find quite intensive. Drawing is zen and programming isn't. I did write a bit of code though to repeat the background infinitely. That's something I learned from Danny's tutorial. So you can just run forever now. On Wednesday, I fixed my messy inspector. I was given a useful tip from one of my viewers about using headers to organize things when I have a lot of public variables. Thanks, Pixel. Then I spent the rest of the day trying to write some code to stop the pirates pushing into each other on their way to attack the player. I was trying to get each pirate to check if there was another pirate in their way before they decided to walk. At first I tried doing this check through an on-collision enter function, but that wasn't the best way to do it. What I settled on was using ray casts to send a line out in front of the pirate before he walked. If that line collided with another pirate, then it would set a blocked boolean to true. The trouble was then getting that check to repeat at an appropriate interval rather than every frame. I tried using invoke repeating and yeah, it was not the right place to do that, I can tell you. I was still working on that pirate blocked situation on Thursday. I got it working in most situations, which was great. I also had this idea about a secondary attack for the pirate. To see how this one is blocked and he's holding back. My idea is that if he's blocked back here, he could start charging up a rush style attack. This rush attack could ignore the collision with the pirate in front of him and rush forward at the player. So I'll get to work on that later on down the track. Because the block function was still buggy and I really wanted to feel like I'd finished something today, I decided to add in some footstep sounds. So that block function was still a bit buggy on Friday. If I rolled past the pirates and they were facing away from me, they would never become unblocked. I thought this might have been because they weren't turning towards me and they were casting away in the wrong direction. I spent hours down that rabbit hole only to discover that the problem was that the pirate's ray cast when it was being sent backwards was hitting its own collider. I only discovered this by turning off all the distracting backgrounds in the scene view so I could really see that raycast. So I just altered the starting point for the raycast and that fixed the bug. I had a bit of time left so I started writing some code to limit the amount of times you can use your secondary attack in one go. So I changed the input to get button down rather than get button 
and I added a counter to count how many times you use the attack. And then I disabled the attack when you reach a max count and then reset that counter to zero with a timer. It's Saturday now, I'm working on the video, I'll be taking tomorrow off. So now I'm gonna run you through my future plans for this game. So as you probably know, if you've been watching any of my earlier videos, this is my first ever game. I'm already seeing how easy it would be to get caught up with refining and refining and never get the game finished. And I personally don't want to be stuck on this game for too long. I want to keep progressing my learning by trying out lots of different gameplay styles and different mechanics through lots of different games. That being said, I do want to work on it for at least another month and I want to bring it to a point where it's a playable experience with some level of polish. And when I get it to that point, I will find some way of hosting it and share it here on the channel for free so all my viewers can have a go at it, give me some feedback to apply to my next game. I'll also upload my scripts for anyone who's interested in seeing them. They will be ugly, I promise you, but I'm not too bothered. Might as well share where I'm at. So what does some level of polish mean? Well, I'll take you through what my plan is for the next month of development on Trello. I've renamed my list here into a list of must haves and then a wish list over here. These are the things I think I need to call this game a complete experience. First up, I need that pirate secondary attack the rush attack that I was talking about earlier. There just isn't enough variety in the attacks right now. Uh, we need some stunned animations so that you can tell when a pirate is stunned and not just standing there doing nothing. I'll also need death animations for the pirates actually. This counter attack I'm actually going to move into the wish list. I'd like that but I'm not sure it's needed. What we really do need is a spawn manager slash wave system. I'm going to structure this game like a simple wave fighter. Once you kill the first enemy, two will automatically spawn in. Once you kill them, three will spawn in and so on. Over here in the nice to haves, I've got finishes here. The idea is that if a pirate is at a certain critical health level, you can pull off a cool finishing move with a preset animation that feels real badass. Then following that is an idea for dynamic camera moves for things like the finishes. Then I have this idea about using live action film footage for the opening of the game and for the game over screen. My idea is that I cast an actor to play the kid in the game, we shoot some film, he goes to bed in his blue and white stripy pajamas and then this game is his dream. And then, you know, when you die, the live action kid wakes up and then you restart. So it's a simple idea, but it adds something a little unique to the game. And I'd also really love to add an additional enemy, which would be an alarm clock Kraken that's threatening to wake you up because I mean, what's a pirate game without a Kraken, right? So that's a rough roadmap for this game. Then I'm gonna move on to the next game. I've got an idea for that already, which I'll talk about in a future video, but here's the title, Dough Get Baked. And I am gonna go and check out Neversong. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button because it helps this video get out there to more and more people. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And enjoy your week, everyone. I'll look forward to connecting with you over the week in the comments section. Bye for now.